the government has said that uh, all the barber shop are not being able to open at this moment. It means that everyone cannot get their hair cut. But I can't stand the messiness of my hair now. So I decided to cross four states to get my hair cut done. So let's join me on my journey in getting my hair cut done during this lockdown and how I did it. So let's go. that um, Malaysia has been undergoing the lockdown for uh, more than two and a half months now and currently we are still undergoing the um, semi lockdown um, which um, we are allowed to actually uh, move within the uh, state itself but we are not allowed to cross the interstate this is um, actually um, to help out to constrain the um, virus within the state uh, itself only and do not spread to other states uncontrollably um, during this period uh, all the barber shops are not allowed to be opened so um, it has been more than three months now my hair has not been getting a haircut and uh, it's getting messy now so uh, I have no choice but um, to cross the interstates to get my haircut done so as you know that um, we are not allowed to cross the interstate illegally so and especially now is the um, Malay Raya period so I've got a letter approval from the police station um, to allow me to cross the states so um, now I'm going to cross four states to get my hair cut done there if you can see from here there's not much car in the highway so it means that um, the movement control for the interstate has been um, actually quite effective um, uh, as us in Malaysia we normally actually use this highway to cross the interstate more effectively and you can see there's a uh, straight roads that you can actually um, just press your oil button and go so without this highway we actually need to actually go through many 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 small villages around here in order to cross uh, states so this is a very good um, highway that um, has been created here of course we have to pay some tolls for this highway just to actually um, bear the maintenance of the roads that's why you will get um, some smooth roads without any patch of uh, hole in um, the highway all right i think um, we have a roadblock here so this is our first roadblock I think mom and I believe that this is the first state border that is available here um, I saw some cars are not allowed to move so let's see how it goes now I'm not sure that um, do they need any uh, of this approval letter to have a look Okay, we have to go. Alright. Pagi bang. Pagi. Kita pergi jadi? Ah, Melaka. Melaka. Ah. Thank you, Bang. All right, we have successfully um, passed by the first uh, roadblock. Guys, check this out. The road is even smoother after the uh, roadblock. I was wondering whether are there any more roadblocks after this? Because uh, I'm going to cross uh, so many states. So um, let's see what is the next roadblock is the road is so smooth how I wish that uh, every day on our normal days would be like this it will be a heaven if you have uh, such a good traffic all the time because of the 
the traffic was so smooth I tend to press more on and increase the car speed I almost exceeded the car speed limit uh, that was dangerous though Alright, we have just entered into the third state So far, um, we only experienced one roadblock which is in Nilai We are apparently, uh, I'm starting at Kuala Lumpur where my house is I've crossed to the Selangor state Into the Negeri Sembilan state So now we are in Negeri Sembilan, Seremban The next destination or what we call the next state that we are going to pass is uh, Malacca That will be our final destination So I've heard from the news saying that um, The police in Malacca will do more roadblocks to uh, actually stop people from crossing the state uh, this is because um, the raya is coming so um, let's check out when we are there roadblock outside so I think this would be the final one or the second final roadblock Do not want to have a look on my chart. All right, that's all. I don't think this is a really good roadblock. Um, I guess that um, they are actually uh, checking on those uh, suspicious people. All right, we have arrived in Malacca town. So now we are going towards um, the town area Alright, by this time you should know that uh, I'm going back to my own hometown Malacca and I think you can guess that uh, my bubble would be my mum so yes it is my mum will be helping me to cut my hair um, if you do not know my mum last job is uh, to cut uh, people's hair in the saloon so she's uh, one of the barber as well and um, I have no choice this time to get her help to give my hair a cut We are arriving at uh, our home soon and I will share with you how she cut my hair Alright, I've arrived at my home Can you see me? Can you see me?
All right, I'm done. Oh. I've just done with my bath after the haircut. Basically, I come back, it's not because of the haircut. Uh, I wanted to bring my mom back to KL to get her medicine. So, um, at the same time, I've got her to do my haircut. This is how it looks like. How was it? Does it good? So, I think that's all folks for my haircut during the lockdown. I hope you like it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.